You're tuned into Discover a New You, the show designed to help individuals develop their interpersonal skills, physical, emotional, and spiritual well being, designed to promote a happy, healthy lifestyle. This week's workshop presenter will deliver an uplifting presentation to guide in the process of discovering a new you. Hello, I'm Janice McMillan. I'm one of the participants for the Discover a New You workshop. Are you enjoying yourself? Are you getting information from this informative workshop? Well, if you are, we have more. I have the pleasure of introducing to you Renee Burrell Billy. She is the CEO and founder of RC Fitness Studio. And what she's going to do today is bring you information as it relates to the advantages of physical activity coupled with the right types of food. So, we want you to be able to continue to ignite your 2018 with this informative workshop that will help you live your healthiest and your best life. I have the pleasure of introducing to you Renee Burrell Billy. All right, thank you, Janice. You're I appreciate that. Hi, everyone, and welcome to the show. My name is Renee Burwell Billy, and I am the founder and CEO of RC Fitness Studio located in Decatur, Georgia. I've been in business for a number of years, and so my passion is really about fitness, health, and being the best that you can be. This show today is entitled Getting Fit, Fine, and Fabulous, and it's all about you and how you can achieve your best life ever, starting right now. On the panel with me today is Miss Shamika Manuel. Welcome to the show, Shamika. Thank you, Renee. Shamika is a yoga and uh, fitness artist. And I call her an artist because she has to actually help you paint the canvas of what you want your body to be and how you want to tone it and to firm it up and to actually step out of the ordinary and into something new. So Shamika is going to be sharing some of her tips on how to be the best that you can be as well. So we're going to delve right in and just start out with, again, welcoming everyone to the show. And we're going to be doing some interactive play today as well. And I'm really excited to be here. So um, today, as we talk about what is fit, fabulous, and fine, which is really a mouthful, but I think what people really have the misconception about is that being fit, fabulous, and fine encompasses so much more than just one aspect of being healthy and fit. So because we are multidimensional people and we're also unique and we're also just totally dynamic, everybody's fitness and health journey looks different. And so with all of that said and done, we're going to unravel some of the the myths and the mysteries about what it means to you to be fabulous, fit, and healthy today. So, Shamika, yeah. how long have you been in the fitness industry? Tell everyone a little bit about yourself. Okay, well, in 2003, I think I stumbled across fitness and health and yoga. Um, in the beginning, I wasn't too um, pulled into the physical aspect of yoga, but it was more so of the philosophy of yoga. So um, it was about well, well living. And so it's been since 2000, 2003. Um, in 2008, I decided to, you know, go ahead and do the poses on the mat. And that's when my life began to change. Um, just going through the motions, going through life, um, the journey of just ups and downs. And yoga had really helped me get through a lot of the challenges in life. So it's been since 2003 that I, my journey started. But, yeah, that's yeah. impressive. Um, I as well have been on the journey for quite a long time too. And I can tell you that when you do step into your passion and you step into your dream, your life does begin to, it does begin to open up and all of the mysteries begin to unravel and you understand exactly why you are where you are. So, you know, the word health, I think for so many people, it just means just one thing and that is just being where you are right now. Does that mean working out? Does that mean am I physically healthy? Am I mentally healthy? 
And so again, with everything that it encompasses, I want to let you know that it means being financially fit, it means being mentally fit, it means being spiritually fit, it means being just everything and all around and of course with Shamika bringing into that spirituality, that whole part of you that needs to become as one to be able to function and do the things that you want to do in life. The World Health Organization uh, defines health as a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being, and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. The word health refers to a state of complete emotional, physical, social, mental, spiritual, and financial well-being. And there you have it in a nutshell. Again, these are things that I firmly believe in and I feel so passionate about that I want to just share with you how we can stay balanced as we're going through all of these challenges in life. As a mother, as an entrepreneur, as a wife, sometimes we find it a little difficult to balance all of the things that we want to do in one day and in one week. But if you map out a plan and you begin to just put down exactly what you want to accomplish, that you need to start somewhere, somehow, then it's not as so insurmountable as you may feel that it is. Again, with Shamika here beside me, who is going to actually kind of help you with the whole myth behind yoga, uh, that's another thing that people kind of shy away from, mm -hmm. is because they don't really understand what that means. A lot of people say, it's boring, mm -hmm. I don't want to do it. And true enough, it's not for everyone, but it is something in it for you. The disciplines of the health and fitness of it all is for everyone. And as we continue this journey, and as we continue where we are and where we want to be, it's really important to encompass every single aspect of everything in your life. So Shamika, every day, you know, how do you find a way to just find a quiet moment in the day, <laughs> a quiet time? Okay. And well, how important is that? It's very important to find your, your peace, um, your inner peace is, is one of the most important things that you have to do in life. Um, so when I wake up in the morning, that's my first thing. When I first wake up in the morning, before I even get up out of the bed, I just lay there for a, for a while. Most of the time I'm not late, but you know, <laughs> sometimes when you're rushing, you, you know, you're rushing. But if you have a moment to just lay there and just embrace yourself and, and just get your mind clear because it's about to be a lot of things going on within your day if you're as busy as you are you know True. Um, it's about to be a lot of things going on so you first thing just lay there rest breathe find your breath you know because we're going to lose our breath sometimes you know when we uh, wake up in the morning get in the car get out in the street and the traffic is going to take your breath away so you want to go ahead and just Breathe, embrace, follow your breath, you know. Um, it's different breath works and um, breath t breathing techniques that we can do while we, before we get up and up and at our day. But um, just practice those breathing techniques. Um, another thing I do um, sometimes during my break at work, I just go to a quiet place at work and just clear my mind, you know, just focus on something. If it's a dream, a goal, or something that I have in, my, in myself, I want to just focus on that and breathe. Just focus and breathe on it. And um, there's so many other techniques that are out there that you can do. And sometimes you can create your own. I know when I'm driving, you know, sometimes I just drive and just relax, you know, release and just let it go because it's a lot of stuff that's going on, but you got to learn how to bring it back within. Yeah. And you know, and even when you are driving, especially here in the ATL, where it's just <laughs> totally crazy, and it is hard to find a moment to relax and breathe ah, without being frustrated on the road. So what I do is I actually put music on, some music that I really love to hear, and that is part of my journey. That's part of my day. And it also helps me with my routines, it helps me with clearing my mind, and that's exactly something that you know I really want to share with you is it can be as small mm -hmm. as just turning on the radio, or as small as putting your iPod on and just feeling some type of soothing energy coming your way. So, you know, as your day starts and my day starts, I know I lay there for a moment as well, mm -hmm. just to kind of get the day started without just jumping up and 
getting out of the bed and running and doing the next chore that I need to do because you have to organize and you have to get your mind straight. So, you know, I, I want to thank you for that point and sharing that with us as well. Uh, as we have our studio audience here and our viewers at home, how many of you feel that you start your day off the right way? <laughs> that means what? You don't start the day off the right way because? Rushing. Rushing, Rushing. yes, Rushing. yes. Rushing and just wanting to get everything done right then as soon as you wake up, as soon as the day gets started before your feet even hit the pavement, right? Yes. And so these are some of the things that we're going to share some tips. Shamika's actually going to share some meditational and Zen moments on how you can recapture uh, things in your life before you even start your day that will help harness all of your energy so that you can keep it for yourself and not always give it all to everyone everywhere you meet everywhere you go, because that's really how we become empty. That's really how we become faint by the end of the day, hungry, distressed, and sometimes we're overeating because we're so frustrated. And if we were able to keep our energy for ourselves, if we were able to just give them what we wanted people to have, what we wanted to do on our job, and that's it, we wouldn't feel so incomplete by the end of the day. So, um, you know, the breathing tips that, and she's going to show some of that right now, just kind of work with us as we show you just a way to kind of relax, even where you are. Okay, start now. Go right ahead. All right, awesome. Is everyone ready? All right. So first, you're just going to sit up straight with a, you know, good posture. Yes. You can place your hands in your lap. If you have something in your lap, just go ahead and sit on the floor because you just want to, you know, go within. So we're going to just breathe naturally, inhaling and exhaling as you naturally do. And what we need to realize is that breathing is something, okay, we can live how many days without food? Maybe 40 days, maybe 10 days without water. How many days can you live without your breath? None. That's how important breathing is. So we want to just breathe naturally, continue to breathe just naturally. And then you're going to exhale all of your breath out, feeling your belly flatten. And then when you inhale, blow your belly up as if it's a balloon on the inside. And exhale. Good. Again, breathe in, blow it up. And exhale. Good. Again, breathe it in. Exhaling out. Now that's just our natural breath. And just continue to breathe while I talk about this breathing real quick. Because we get caught up into be, be, being chest breathers. And that's the incorrect way to breathe. So we got to learn how to use our diaphragm, okay? And that's what we were using just then. We were using our diaphragm. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into a three-part breath. And that's where we're going to fill up our diaphragm. Once the diaphragm is filled, we're going to take that breath through the rib cage. You'll feel your ribs expand open and then bring the breath to the chest. Once your chest is filled, you're going to exhale, allowing that breath to go all the way back down to the belly. Your belly will flatten. And again, we're going to inhale, blowing the belly up, bringing that breath from the diaphragm through the rib cage all the way up to the chest. And exhale. Again, blow it up, expanding the ribs, feeling the chest fill up, and exhale. You're feeling that relaxation in your body right now. You're feeling the, you know, like something come off your shoulders. So that's our three-part breath. That's the deep abdominal breathing. That was that technique right there. See, and even just practicing that in the mornings as you're getting ready for work, School, kids, everything will definitely start your day off with you feeling a bit more fulfilled before you even step out of the bed and actually hit that pavement that we call life today. So, you know, um, those are some of the things that I do as well. I feel that we have to embrace our mental exercises. We have to embrace our day. We have to embrace exactly what it is that we're wanting to accomplish in our day, in our week, in our moment, in our time. And right now, 
This is all you have right now. So as you release everything and just sit here and absorb where you are, giving yourself the approval to be where you are right now and not somewhere else on another journey, another time, another moment. I could be doing something else. This is all you have right now. And we don't get these moments back again. So, you know, I like to bring people back to center in on that, that right now you have to cherish exactly where you are and where you want to be. As a fitness um, coach, I always tell my students and everyone else, there's nothing else in this life that is more important than you are. You are a priority. If you don't feel yourself as a priority, no one else is going to put you on that throne. No one else is going to tell you, hey, you know what? You are a very important part of my life today. You have to really feel that. And so again, it comes from feeling those deep breaths within yourself, exhaling and allowing yourself to be exactly who you are at this moment and realizing that it's okay because we're all unique and we're all made differently for a reason. So as we take on, and I think a lot of us, we lose ourselves in the day-to-day -day challenges. We lose ourselves in our day-to-day -day lives, in our work, in the journeys that sometimes we didn't set out to be or set out to have. And so a lot, a piece of us gets lost here, a piece of us gets left behind. And so a lot of times when you're doing your deep breathing or you're doing your recalculating or you're actually formated, formatting your moments for the day, it allows you to recompose. It allows you to bring yourself back together and you give yourself permission to be whole, mm -hmm. you know? So um, I really feel that as we go through it all, this is a very, very important step. And that's just a few of them. So again, as we take time and take a day just for you, figure out what you want to do in your life. It's okay to rest. It is okay to lay down, take a nap, relax for a moment, and give yourself a day off, a moment off, an hour off. You don't have to be on fleek the entire time. You know, you don't have to be on point. You don't have to have your hair perfect every single moment of the day. And sometimes we just don't even give ourselves enough time to relax. Right. Yeah, to really enjoy where we are and who we are, mm -hmm. like even right now. And I know that even with uh, the relaxation breathing, I feel a lot better. Mm-hmm, definitely. Yep, and I hope you guys do too. So, Shamika, you know, with your... Uh, techniques that you're encompassing and you're hoping to go a little bit further with everything I know mm -hmm. because when you start this fitness journey sometimes doors and windows open up and it takes us a little bit further well a whole lot further mm -hmm. than what we could ever have imagined right. where do you see yourself you know in about a year or so from now in a, in a year or so from I now. see myself um, from yes from now I see myself I really want to be overseas doing some work, um, studying, um, sharing my message that I have with the world. You know, that's who I want to be. Yeah. Overseas, taking it national. Don't touch that dial. We'll be right back with more Discover a New You. is a um, you know an awesome goal to have because again once you put things out into the universe once you feel confident in yourself and you begin to build on who you are and where you are in this journey it opens up your mind to a whole new plateau of where you can go and what you can do 
And just to hear you say that you'd like to take this internationally, mm -hmm. um, I feel something endearing to myself as well because I do too. Mm -hmm. And um, the fitness platform, the empowerment platforms that we have here are allowing us to do just that. And I hope that, you know, we can do some of those things together as we move forward, as we go forward. And as we take our days off and as we take our meditational breathing and everything a little bit further. Mm -hmm. um, I really um, hope that everyone here in the studio audience, I hope you guys are staying for our workout portion as well. Yay. 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 Hey, Yay. there we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right answer. Uh, <laughs> And it's going to be just that, just a little bit, just to show you exactly what you can do at any moment of the day. You don't have to say, man, I have to go to a gym or I have to be in a certain place at a certain time. Right then and there is maybe all the moments that you have to give yourself what you need at this moment. And so I'm going to gift you with some moments just, that, just for you that you can find a fitness uh, part, part of your day no matter what you're doing and where you are and uh, we will be right back stay tuned